My professor once said, when he first came to the US in the 80s, he would call home maybe once a month. He would talk to each member of his family. They would pass around the phone and say hi once before the two minutes was up. Two minutes was all he could afford from the exorbitant intercontinental charges of the day. These days, we have an hour between meeting and class. We step into the nearby cafe and log into Wi-Fi. Um, we may be surfing online as the call is going on in the background. We may even be distracted as the signal is propagating to the nearest base station, is converted into zeros and ones optically, and transmitted under the ocean and back on land. The signal may even become choppy and will laugh and say, Wi-Fi is not so good. Talk to you later. Well, what I know is that having this internet, this uh, meaning, is prescribed by the sellers, by the data carriers that provide the transport medium, and by the Apples and Samsungs that provide the vehicle on which this is transmitted. But this meaning, um, having this, will give you greater meaning to your lives, they say. What I found, though, is that um, this uh, ubiquitous presence, um, when you're on the Wi-Fi, straining for that last bit of um, internet to play Angry Birds, may not be um, really meaningful. Uh, after all, all the heads, rows of heads looking down um, it may make you wonder where humanity is headed and whether anyone will look up long enough to see. This is what led me to consider what it would be like uh, for my year without the internet at home. Now, um, this question of time and productivity depreciating as um, the presence of ubiquitous presence becomes apparent. Uh, it can be kind of uh, difficult to, um, to go day to day without the internet. So it's a hard and protracted choice. But you can think of it as exiting a framework and entering a new one, one in which um, your day to day reading, cooking, um, exercising with focus becomes more important than your interactions with your mobile. This past year, I, um, while well, everyone else was busy Marie Kondoing their home, I was busy decluttering my mind of this invasive species at home. And I hope from this talk that I will have planted a seed in your mind to see what it will be like if you also, for a time, didn't have access to the internet and see how it affects your lives. This past year, I was able to travel to many different countries that I had never been to before, Sweden, Germany, Singapore. And in each of these instances, I found that I was broadening my mind in ways that um, looking through uh, pages about these countries online would not have been able uh, to allow me to see and understand the different cultures and the different people. Um, in advance of going to these countries, I also uh, read books from authors uh, uh, from these locations. And I found that uh, my mind was more open to meeting people of different cultures and different backgrounds. Um, so also, when I'm in my uh, Southern California mountain home. Um, day to day, I'm going outside and um, being able to walk in the mountains offers a nice respite from the constant cycle of the internet. Uh, especially in a profession where one is creating, it can be important to be able to rejuvenate your energy. And nowhere is a better resource than the natural one outdoors. It can't be understated that in order to um, uh, not rely on the internet so much, um, in order for its presence to not have such a great effect, um, with its availability, 
the likelihood of you succumbing to its use becomes greater. After all, we're only human, um, privy to the attraction of fast entertainment. Uh, if we can not have to think, if we can pay to have it done for us, then um, we may succumb to become docile. So uh, in cutting these ties uh, from the internet at home, I was finding that I was giving myself more freedom to explore unencumbered, and time took on a different meaning. Uh, I found that I was able to complete my work more efficiently when I had access to the internet, and I didn't really need its ubiquitous presence. Um, but this, the way I came to this realization is just one of many. So these days when I go into a cafe, um, sometimes I'll think, well, modernity can progress to the sound of deafening drum beats, but at home, uh, lit screens don't have to rule the roast anymore. Take back your time.